Sup all you mother truckers, this is Dallas from Dobson, North Carolina, and you are watching Live to Thrill. Yellow! Surrender the booty! Yellow! What's cracking, y'all? What's cracking, you sons of dicks? I just woke up, uh, time to take a shower. Eat some breakfast. Then I got shit to do in town. God dang, look at me. Look at me. Just a freaking mess, man. Just a freaking mess. I gotta go pay the uh, the mechanic. Yeah, it's been a very weird couple days here. This will focus. It is uh, it snowed two days ago really hard. There was a bunch of snow on the ground. And then yesterday it just rained all day on top of the snow. So then it turned into like just slush. And then I woke up this morning and now it's just muddy, crappy disgustingness. Uh, it's about 40 degrees today, something like that, 30, high 30s, um, and on, I think it's Friday and Saturday, it's supposed to be mid-60s, so it's going to be real nice. I got all this dip from a fan, Seneca, okay? Now, I did a video on this cream, but this is a crazy brand. They've got soda, citrus, wintergreen, rum, straight grape and cream okay so that's like crazy freaking flavors that not other dip companies have and stuff right so i'm excited so what i'm thinking about doing let me know if you guys think this is a good idea i'm gonna do like somewhat a review on each one separately and then at the very end of all the reviews do like a series on it and then at the very end of that do a suicide on all of them and uh see how that tastes i gotta go get clean i'm a kind of a dirty little whore right now Bacon and eggs every morning. Got the toast. Yellow. Finished product. Every morning I have this. Been having this every morning for almost a month now. <laughs> yeah, buddy, I ain't complaining. So, I like to put this Kahlua, or Chalua, however you freaking say it, on uh, all my stuff. This is my hot sauce of choice. What y'all's hot sauce of choice? Everybody's like, yeah, I'll tap a tea or whatever the tits. I like this Chilua, Kahlua, whatever the tits. So much won't even freaking focus. There you go. Oh, pretty girl. Oh, that's a boy. Shit. Heading into town on my horse with a force. Just made that up. Well, yep, uh, heading into town. Like I said, heading to my mechanic, go pay him. It's kind of funny because if y'all remember the last vlog, I, was, I made it was me dropping this son bitch off, I think. Or maybe it was the day before I came remember. I dropped this son bitch off at my mechanics to get aligned after the steering stabilizer was put on. And uh, he was done that day, and I missed the call at like 4 o'clock. They closed at 5. Didn't see it till like 5.05 or something. I was like, oh shit. I was filming something, I can't remember. But uh, no, I was editing the bar. And uh, yeah, if freaking uh, next day was Saturday, and I was like, oh, it's okay, I'll just pick it up tomorrow. They're not open on Saturdays. So I'm like, oh hell, they didn't answer. And I'm like, I text the dude, I'm like, hey man, I'm just gonna steal the bourbon, because I had a spare key. And I was like, hey man, I'm just gonna go to your shop, steal the bourbon, and I'll pay you back uh, next week. Yesterday is President's Day, so I'm going to pay him now for the alignment. <laughs> Thought it was pretty funny, but now that the alignment's done, it uh, it drives a lot better and stuff. It, it definitely helped um, a little bit. It didn't help as much as I thought it was going to help. Um, you know, it is lifted pretty damn high, so you know you're going to get a little bit of sway in there and stuff. But it definitely helps a little bit to keep it in between the lines. It's a lot better than it was trying to freaking hold the damn wheel. So, but uh, yeah, I got to go pay that son bitch off. Now nah, I got to head to the store and grab a couple things. Yellow. 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 Waffle. Yellow. No, I'm not mentally ill. Yellow fish oils. Had to get some soap. I think that's all I need. Okay, let's go. This is me awkwardly walking down a bra aisle. Yeah, I had to, uh, took a shower this morning and ran, a, ran out of freaking body wash. I had to go grab some of that. And then I also ran out of fish oils this morning. 
and I really freaking dig fish oils, man. I've been taking them for uh, a couple years now, and they just, like, they're like legit lubrication for your freaking joints. I totally feel a difference whenever I'm, I take fish oils during the day and stuff, and like, if I'm just lifting crap, or if I'm working out, or whatever, it, like, my joint pain and crap like that just isn't, um, isn't freaking, I, I'm not aware of it whenever I take fish oils. And this is funny too, because everybody always complains about fish oils. They, oh, it makes me burp when they smell bad and stuff. These are burpless, burpless fish oils. So I had to just stop by Jim Bob's place and pick up my trash can really quick and I didn't bring my camera in, but they're selling Girl Scout cookies for Jim Bob's niece and I'm for sure getting some of them son of bitches. I haven't had Girl Scout cookies in a while, but I like them peanut butter patty ones and the Thin Mints. Which Girl Scout cookies are your favorites? Maybe I will buy you a box and send it to every single one of you. That was a joke. God, I wish I was rich. Ah, oh, I got shit. Hey, bro. All right, back home and naked once again. I have been meaning to do some giveaways for quite some time. Hey, that was a good speak. That's a good speak. There's two different things that I'm giving away, but we're giving away a lot of them, okay? So first things first, everybody's been asking about this, the Cowboy Coffee Chew, okay? We've got a tits ton of this, even got a shirt that I might give away and stuff. Um, so what I'm gonna do, now it's always hard to do giveaways on YouTube because uh, just for the fact that, you know, when I'm trying to get people's addresses and stuff like that, I've gotta have them email me and it's just, you know, I gotta reply and make sure they see the reply and stuff, so it's kind of a pain. So it's easier to do it on social media like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So. Last time I did a, uh, the first time I did it, I did a Twitter giveaway. The second time I did it, I did an Instagram giveaway. So now we're switching to Facebook and we're gonna do a giveaway on all of these cans. There's like 20 something here. So 20 of you will be able to win um, one of these. And all you gotta do is go to my Facebook page. I'm going to have a post up while you see this video. It should be up on my Facebook page and there will be instructions on what to do to win one of these Cowboy Coffee Chew cans, all right? So make sure to go check out my Facebook page and you'll have to like it and stuff like that too. So go check out my Facebook page. The link is in the description box. It's facebook.com slash keep it hill, Billy. And uh, yeah, we got over 200,000 people over there as well. So that's pretty badass, digging it. But anyways, go like the Facebook page, check out the post on how to win one of these sons of bitches. Next, this is the giveaway that I'm excited about. I've been using one of these and I'll tell you the story. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a key bar. Now, I don't know if any of y'all have ever seen these before, but this is a key bar, okay? Now, let me go grab the one that I'm actually using now. This is my brand new one that they just sent me. This right here is the one that I've been using for the past year or so, and uh, basically what it is is, you know, you got your belt clip and everything here. Now, key bar actually made the special, made this for me like a long time ago. And, uh, you know, put the flag on there, put a little deer skull and stuff like that. But what you do is you basically put your keys in here. Is you don't have that jingle and stuff and then you can pop out your keys or whatever for your house and stuff like that. So, you know, I've got my house key, I've got my P.O. Box keys. Um, and then it's also got this thing here uh, on all the key bars so you can hang your key fob and your keys that won't be able to fit in here um, with the, you know, the big old plastic piece or whatever. So, these things are freaking sick. I like them because they got the belt clip, it keeps them out of the way no jingle and, and like you know if I'm wearing jeans and stuff that you know don't have giant pockets and they're kind of tighter I can't fit this freaking giant gosh dang key thing in my uh, in my pockets so these key bars make it really freaking nice so what I'm doing is I got hooked up with key bar he sent me this badass black one just a oh my gosh freaking focusing on this camera suck we're gonna give away three key bars to you mother truckers out there so this is the deal of yow um, he made up some wood, three woodland camo ones. I'm going to put pictures of them up right here so y'all can see some very high quality pictures of them. So I don't have them. I actually have one coming in the mail. It might be in the mailbox now. But um, we're giving away three of those sons of bitches. Now, I don't have them and I'm not going to be sending them out. So whoever wins these, I'm going to send your info over to Key Bar and they're going to send you the packages with the Key Bars. So I think these are pretty cool. So what we're going to do. All you have to do to win one of these sons of bitches, you just gotta be watching this video. Well, I reckon you're doing that right now. Uh, you gotta follow Keybar on Instagram, at Keybar, okay? 
Pretty simple. Go to your Instagram and follow Key Bar. It's a badass freaking Instagram too. They don't just post stuff about their key bars and they do like everyday carry stuff and cool military things or whatever. And they also post funny videos and crap and pictures and stuff. So go follow Key Bar on Instagram and then all you gotta freaking do say something funny in the comments to make me laugh and I will pick three freaking people. But you gotta be following Key Bar on Instagram, all right? Follow Key Bar on Instagram and then leave a comment below. Something funny to make me laugh. A joke, you know, something silly. I don't know. Don't make it too retarded. I don't laugh at too retarded things, but if you make it intelligent and kind of hilarious, then maybe I'll pick your ass. So leave a comment below, something funny. I will pick three winners by probably the next couple days. Um, so make sure to, if you comment on this, some bitch, it's your responsibility to keep checking back to see if I replied and then if you're the winner, winner because I'm going to have to uh, ask for your email so that I can email you and get your info so that we can get your info to Key Bar so they can send you the Key Bar, all right? <laughs> Banjo just, fr literally right after I turned the camera off, Banjo just farted out loud. You farted out loud, dude, and it stinks. <laughs> he looked at his freaking butt and everything. Did you just fart? Oh, dude, it stinks, man. That's so funny. Remember whenever I was in the K20 going to the gym last vlog, a couple vlogs ago or something like that, and I was like, it's freaking freezing in the K20. I can't even drive that son of a bitch when it's so cold. Dude, okay, freaking in-law. Last time, I, I don't know if you guys know this about like old trucks and stuff, especially these, these old Silverados. Um, a lot of old cars and stuff used to have them, but they had these side vents on under the floorboard, these side vents that you would open, pull in and out, and they would open the sides so that the the cold air could come in from the wind when you're driving to keep you cool. It was like a new, it was like a form of AC, right? And uh, in-law had his side open from this summer, and it was still open because I told I told him to freaking uh, to um to close it, but he, I don't think he did, and uh, it was still open, so that's why I was so damn cold, and I looked whenever I went to the gym the other night, I was like, it's freaking freezing in here, man, the heat's I'm bumping, and then I was like, oh, that son of a bitch, it was freaking wide open, so that's why I was damn, so damn cold, but anyways, I'm gonna head to the gym. What the hell, what the hell's going on here? What the shit, I see a cop. How's it going? There's a tractor trailer block on the roadway this way. Is there? Yeah. Uh, where are you trying to get to though? Uh, downtown. God dang, man. The thing was flipped over in the middle of the road. Like the, the cab and everything. God dang, man. Man, it is freaking shitty out. Real foggy. I don't know. Let me turn my light on. Will you see how foggy it is? It's crazy foggy. This road, I gotta be careful. I gotta turn the camera on. I'm about to show y'all. My favorite post-workout meal. Holy shit! Turn that son bitch down. Holy duh! Tilapia and sweet potato. Not only my favorite perks post-workout meal, but one of my favorite meals of all time. I'll show y'all what I've done. This son bitch is delicious. All right, y'all. I don't know if this looks appetizing or not to you. We got tilapia and sweet potato, and this mixture here is so freaking good. I can't even get enough of it. I gosh dang love it. Season the tilapia a little bit. I just put the damn uh, freaking sweet potato in for five minutes. I poke some holes into it all over, put it in for five minutes, halfway, turn it over, and then it's good to go. Freaking flaky and sweet and beautiful as ever. So, yeah, pretty simple. I don't know if you guys dig this. Maybe I'll show you how to do it in another cooking video or something like that. <laughs> okay. Well, would you look at that? There is the key bar that y'all can win. It's the Woodland Camo one. So this one's actually pretty sweet. I might use this one as my EDC rather than the black one there. I like this one a lot, but yeah, so um, by the way, if you guys want to know how these things work and stuff like that, just go check out Key Bar's Instagram. They got videos and stuff on, you know, all that kind of crap. And they also got a YouTube as well, so. Yep, so that's the one you can y'all can win. Giving away three of them. Leave a comment below all that crap like I told you earlier. I win one of these sons of bitches. The tits did a freaking go! There we go. Got my key bar all set up. Decided to go with the camo one. I dig it. 
So I uh, see I got my key fob and everything on here, trailer key. Um, then I got my, you know, PO box, house keys, and uh, toolbox keys and stuff in there. So pretty freaking sweet. And of course you can go thicker and stuff too. And these and the stuff that they come with, they come with longer screws and more washers and stuff like that. Um, for you know if you're like a janitor or something and you need a fat ass one or something, they come with that too. So pretty sweet. I'm gonna get out of here. Go to bed. I reckon we'll see you again tomorrow. My name's Atlaw, and I'm at y'all. Until tomorrow, leave two, three. Holla, y'all. What was that gay enough for you? What was that gay enough for you? Oh, freaking A, man. On Valentine's Day, I was kind of drunk, and I was laying in my bed, and I posted a little Instagram picture, and I said, oh, guys, I really love you. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. I got as so many people that said, God, man, I'm unfollowing out while he's such a freaking fag. Oh, God, he's so gay. Chill out, man. Just because I'm the hottest man you've ever freaking seen doesn't mean I'm gay, okay? Holler.